Hello, all my kings and beauty queens, and brothers and sisters. I hope all is doing well. For those who are dealing with health issues in the hospital, I just pray that God cover you, heal you, and give you a speedy recovery in the name of Jesus. And as always, I got to thank my A1s from day ones who continue to rock with me. I truly appreciate y'all so very much. I got to thank all my new subscribers and all those who will subscribe in their due time. And I got to give a thumbs up and shout out to the viewers. I thank y'all so very, very much. But today I'm going to do a topic and give my opinion, my viewpoint on the exclusive interview that Tasha K had with Arion. So for those who do not know what I'm talking about, Arion is the mistress or they call her a side chick of Martel, Melody husband, now ex-husband on Love Marriage Huntsville. She just had a exclusive interview with Tasha K. And I'm going to give my input. For one, for one, I believe someone who is close to Arion should have talked to her before she did the interview. And the reason I say that, because I believe that Arion thinks somebody owe her something. She thinks the show, producers, the cast owe her something. What, she, what do she think they owe her? I don't know. But from what, I'm going to say it like this. She want to say her side. I'm going to say it like this. What side do Arion have? What story do she have? And some people agree that she do need to give her side. We know her side. We know her side. On her page, she, she, Arion said enough. Arion said enough. So what does she need to bring on the show? The only thing that Arion needs to do is apologize for her part in destroying a beautiful family. As you see, I said her part. Because we know the other part, the other half, is Martel. That's the only part that she need to do. That's the only thing she need to do. She say that she is, um, what word she used? She carries the show. No, Arion, you do not carry the show. You are involved in an issue with a married couple that's on the show. Melanie and Martel and all the other people involved can't talk about what's going on in Melody and Martel marriage. If your feelings is hurt about it, you did not have to continue being involved with someone who you knew was a married man. So what part of the story that you're so anxious to tell? We know your side of the story. We know who do not, in the comments, who do not know Arion part of the story. Her side of the story. I, I don't understand that part. I, 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 I really don't understand what she have to say. I heard what she said, but that... Is what she already said in her videos. She disrespect 
Melody. She feel like Melody is um, capitalizing on her. Melody is capitalizing on a situation that she had to deal with. And she, if she choose to put it in the song, that's her problem. It is really not her problem. That's okay for her to do. So really, that interview, am I the only one who's not understanding what Arion issue is? Put that in the comment. I need somebody else beside me to, to figure out what is Arianne's issue. Why is she so pressed to be on the show? If you put yourself, Miss Arianne, in a situation, in a marriage, I don't care what Martel told her. I don't care what his cousin told her. I don't care what her friend said. At the end of the day, she was wrong. Once she found out that Martel was married and continued that relationship, if Melody decided to talk every day, all day, as they say, it's, um, it's kind of like a, let me see, I wrote it down, an overkill. Oh, well, they still talking about it. So what's the big deal? Sorry that you feel some type of way, Ariane. You put yourself in this issue, in this situation. You did this. Like you said, you had a miscarriage. And my heart goes out to you for that. You said that you had abortion. You said it. So after those two pregnancies, you get pregnant a third time to have to have Martell child. That was intentional. You knew what you was doing. Once you found out that he was pregnant, that I'm sorry. Once you found out that Martell was married and you said a good conversation kept you in that relationship you can have a good conversation with somebody and don't have sex with them i understand what tasha say what tasha k said that it was all about convenience for you and him and it's true you got something out of the deal. You got cars, material stuff, conversation. And what did Melody get out of it? A divorce, broken family, her kids in counseling, kids who can't spend every day like they used to with their father and every night with their father in the household. They have to split two weeks with mom, two weeks with dad. And you got an issue being selfish because you want to tell your side. We know your side. I think you just want to be seen. You want to be seen. And if you want to be seen, this is not a good look. You said enough. And what you said in the interview, I heard it before. And by you unwilling to give Melody her kids, their kids, an apology, all because you said she had somebody come to your home and that she disrespected you? What I do think that you need to sit back by yourself 
and think about what you did from beginning to now. Think about Melody and Martell children not having their father in a home. He's a big blame. He's a big blame, a big part of it too. Because I heard that he have another child out there. I don't know. That's what I heard. Don't quote me. So he's not an angel. But you got to ask yourself, Ariane, what is your motive? Why do you want to be on Love Marriage Huntsville so bad? Is it to hurt Melody even more? Is it to continue to say those rude things that you've been saying that we heard that's on the internet? Though she's doing good, though she's doing pretty awesome, she still probably wanted her marriage to work. And because you would not leave him alone, we would never know if it would have worked. You, Miss Ariane, have a big part of your own shame, guilt. So stop wanting to be on the show. For what? What's your reason? What would your reason be to be on Love, Marriage, Huntsville? Only probably to do more antagonizing melody. Usually when a mistress or a side girl or a side chick is having an affair with the married man, normally they want to keep that in secret. But you, on the other hand, as my grandma say, brazen. No shame in your game. I don't know if you think this funny, cool. I don't know if you, this a learned behavior that you saw people do before in life and thought it was okay, but it's not okay. People want to be behind the scene if they are the other woman, but you want to be front and center. Something is wrong with that. Making sure when you take a picture, making sure Martell is in the picture so you can post and show everybody. Make sure you put his watch in the picture. When you're doing the selfie, you make sure he's in the picture so you can um, show Melody that he's still involved with you. It's it just really sad. I can't even get everything I want to say out in this video. I'm, I'm really stumbling on this video because I cannot believe how you so press about something that you created, that you did. And everybody's saying, well, you didn't get married. You're not married to him as though it's an excuse, as though that was okay for you to do. Stop letting people put that in your head that it's okay, that that is mainly Martell issue. Once you realize that he was married, that was your time to exit. And the thing is, there's a lot of women who's doing the same thing you doing, but they not being as bold as you are. You being bold. Real bold. The only thing I will say, put yourself in Melody, key, uh, Melody and her kids' shoes, especially the children. 
Because Melanie, as you, as you can see, she's doing very well. Even though at times, a person with a heart, they probably have memories of her and her husband being together, doing things together. But I don't think the love is there. So your focus need to be putting yourself in Martell and Melody's children's shoes and see how you will feel. Think about the kids. All this happening. And when you pick on Melody, you pretty much picking on them children, not having a daddy in their house, separating the family, dividing the family, destroying the family. You are part of that. And that's nothing to laugh at. That's nothing to clown Melanie about. I don't care what Martel say about his wife. A lot of men talk about their wife when they messing with their other woman. That's what they do to make that other woman feel, oh, you can be comfortable with me even though I'm married because she this, she don't do that. Ariane, if they talk about you every day, all day on this show, that's their life. Their family is destroyed. If they want to talk about it, they can. I don't see them dogging you on the show. I see them talking about the destruction of their marriage. I never once heard your name on the show. The only time I saw your name is when Martel was in his truck. And they put your name that you was on the phone with him. And I heard your voice. But they don't even mention your name. You make yourself known by doing your videos on your platform. So, again, why do you want to be on Love Marriage Huntsville? What story you have to tell? What's your side? Everybody know your side. And if they choose to talk about you every day, all day on the show, that's their prerogative. If Melanie choose to make money off of her husband cheating, that's her prerogative. She's smart like that. Continue your online clothing business in writing your book and let them do the show how they want to. I would say for the show, don't bring you on. Don't bring Ariane on the show. For what? And I will also say this, if they choose to talk about her marriage, Melanie and Montel um, marriage that's destroyed, they can do that. Because you should have exited a long time ago. You said you involved with him for five, six, seven years. So you knew he was married. And the thing I don't understand a whole marriage is broken, divided, separated, destroyed. For what? You and Martel not even together. So what was this all about? It was a game. It was a game. The game was not fun anymore when Melody left. It wasn't a game no more. It was reality. My wife is gone. This is what I got to deal with. I got to deal with Ariane now. Some people get a high. Some men get a high when they got their wife at home and they cheating. Some men get that thrill. It's a high for them. But when the wife leave, it's not fun and games no more. Ariane, it was a game you both was involved in, which destroyed a whole family. Think about what you did. Somehow, some way, sometime, find a way to apologize to Melody and her children. With that being said, I will do another video on Tasha K exclusive interview with Arion, but I just want to speak on some things, but I will do a part two. So with that being said, everybody, pray for each other love each other you can do content 
without being real mean or real nasty, name calling. You can do good content. So with that being said, everybody, I love you. Definitely hit share, comment, leave a comment. Definitely hit like and subscribe to my Brown Tan Johnson channel. With that being said, I love you. Love you, Melody and children.